In this video, I'm going to show you some additional details about using the expand modifier in Cuddle to create offsets. I'm also going to share some tips and techniques to make your workflow even easier. In the first example, we use some connected text and we apply the expand modifier to that one, like in this case. But you're not limited to text, you can also use it on any arbitrary shape. Let's grab a very basic shape and apply the modifier to it. So I'm going to grab a simple rectangle, I'm going to place it on the canvas, and I want to duplicate it. So I'm going to uh, select it and then copy and paste it. So I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then I'm going to paste it. So I have a second copy and I'm going to apply the modifier to that one. So I'm going to go to modify and go to expand or offset. So as you can see, uh, I have a second offset rectangle and I can change the distance of the offset right here. One detail to know is that you can change the way the corners are joined. As a default, they're joined as a round corner, but we can change the type of joint here. So we can select miter for perfectly pointy corners, which can be useful for a lot of design elements, or you can change it to bevel, which creates a flat bevel wherever the corners meet. Sometimes you need to apply an offset to an existing design or file, and you can also do that in Cuddle. So I'm gonna uh, add a new component, and to import the file, I'm gonna go to File, Import SVG, and I'm gonna select this llama that I downloaded from the Noun project. Once I have the llama on my canvas, I'm gonna uh, center it, and then I'm gonna create a duplicate, uh, which I can also do by right-clicking here in the inspector and uh, creating duplicate. And then I'm gonna apply the offset to that duplicate. So I'm gonna go again to modify and expand, and here I can change the distance. One thing that happened here is that the duplicate also has a black fill, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to get rid of the fill, and I'm going to add a stroke, and I'm going to make it red so it's more distinct. So now we can see that we have the original llama, and then we apply that expand. I'm going to change the distance. And uh, something that you would often do with this kind of thing is that you want to get rid of the uh, internal holes. So for that, we can also use this other modifier called the remove holes modifier. And that's how we create a neat outline for an existing SVG. Now let me show you how to optimize your workflow for making these multi-layer designs using components in Cuddle. So I'm going to start by grabbing some connected text. So I'm going to search for connected here on the search box. I'm going to place it on my canvas. Now I want to type the name or word that I want to use. So I'm going to uh, type something like lucky. And now I want to select the size that I want. This is a good moment to do that. So I'm going to select it and then click here. And I think I want something that is about three inches wide. So I'm going to type three and then press enter. I'm going to rename this component as the name. So I'm going to double click here in the component name and type name. Now I want to create the backer for my name. So I'm going to uh, hit the plus here to create a new component. And I'm going to drag my name into this new component and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it the backer to make it distinct. And to this one, I'm going to apply that expand modifier. So I'm going to select it, go to modify, then expand. And I'm going to increase the distance a little bit. And as usual, I kind of want to get rid of this internal hole. So I'm going to select it again and apply the remove holes modifier. And what this allows me to do now is to create a sort of cut file that has both elements. So I'm going to create another component. I'm going to cut that the cut. And then in this one, I'm going to drag the name, which is the front of my uh, design. Then I'm going to drag the backer, which is the back of my design. And now here I can export these and cut it in my laser cutter. One nice additional feature that we can add is that when we are placing these part onto this part, it's nice to have some sort of guide uh, to place them in just the right place. So let me show you how to do that. This is going to be a slight modification to the backer itself. So I'm going to go back to the backer component and I'm going to place another instance of the name here. But instead of expanding it, I'm going to contract it a little bit. So I'm going to apply the contract or inset modifier to that one. And in general, you want to do something like 0.0. 0 0.03 inches. Uh, so it's just small enough uh, that gets covered by the other version. And because I want to score that part, I'm going to change the color. Usually for scores, I like to use uh, blue. Um, but of course, you can choose anything that works for your machine. And for the outside cut, 
which is the original one, I like to use red. Uh, so I'm going to change that to red. So now in the cut file, we have the backer with a nice guide to place this front piece on it. But when I export it, I want to export it something like this. I'm going to have these two pieces separately. Then I can go to file and then export my SVG. And the nice thing about what we just created is that now we can go back and change the name to any other text that we want. So for example, I'm going to type cuddle. Uh, and then that is going to update the backer. And of course, it's also going to update the cut file. So this is an easy way to start creating a template for yourself.